Hi Virgo, welcome to your Love Connection reading for November. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information you need about me. Personal readings, decks I'm using, social media, tons of stuff there. Please do go check that out. Be greatly appreciated. Thank you for all your support. All my new subscribers, thank you, thank you. Those who have reached out for personal readings and those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the channel is greatly, greatly appreciated. I'm so appreciated for all the support and helping to getting uh, messages out to the people that need to hear them and being a part of the channel's growth really does mean a lot to me. So thank you, thank you. All right, Virgo, hope everybody's doing well. Happy fall, happy November. All right, so this is going to be a love connection reading, and this is for whoever you have in mind right now. And it can be any type of connection. You can be dating, you can be about an ex, somebody you like, you think they like you. Uh, it could be a marriage, um, separated from somebody, um, could be anything right now. So if you clicked on the title, then there's probably something in here that resonated for you. So hopefully um, this will be for you. So... As always, flip-flop the energies as you see fit. Only take what resonates. All right, so Virgo. This is a Zodiac Oracle, so we'll see what we get here. See what may, what some of you may be dealing with for November. And this can be a sign, element, or planet. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, that's totally fine. This is a little extra bonus. So for Virgo, can we have one card for Virgo? Well, we have air energy. So... This can be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but it doesn't have to be. So your energy is all about truth, clarity. It's all about the mind, ideas, uh, communication, um, truth, and clarity. So I don't know. We'll see how that plays into your reading. All right. So first thing I want to do here, and I just noticed that, Ear is 25, which is 7, and you, Virgo, are 6, so that's 6, 7. Hmm, interesting. Which together, that's 13, which is 4. 4 is all about stability, foundation. All right. So, the first thing I want to do is get a love connection energy between you and the person that you're thinking about right now, whoever you're watching this for. Can we have one card for Virgo? What is the love connection energy? between Virgo and their person for the month of November. That's two. One card, please. Thank you so much. One card for Virgo. We'll take this one. You're ready. So whatever it is here, I feel like you're definitely ready for this connection. They may be also. So something's ready in this connection. Definitely here. You're both ready. Or you're ready or they're ready, or whatever, somebody's ready. <laughs> Are you both ready? I don't know. It's like divine here telling you, you're ready. See, she looks like divine energy there, that you are ready. All right, so Virgo, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull one card for you and see how you're feeling about your person in this connection, and then one card for them how they're feeling about you in this connection. I'll put you here. I'll put them here. If you feel like the roles are reversed, then please, anytime, like I said, swip, swap, bleh, <laughs> flip, flop, switch the energies anytime you see fit and only take what resonates all the way the rest. It's a general collective reading. It's not a personal reading. So let's get one card for Virgo and one card for their person that they are thinking about at this time. Virgo, you have within the next few weeks. So <laughs> something here, you, you're you ready within the next few weeks. <laughs> and your person has, well, they got reconsider. Hmm. And you see they're holding a sword there. That's like the sword of truth and clarity. So they're reconsidering, reconsidering something here. So I don't know, we get to the tarot, we'll see what that's about. But the sword there is about truth, clarity, and that sort of energy, which is that air energy. So they definitely could be an air sign, uh, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. 
And on the bottom of the deck, it has Ask Your Angels. So praying, meditating, thinking, contemplating, listening to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing. So let's see. So let's clarify with the tarot. Reconsider. So I don't know what they're reconsidering here. Um, they could just be thinking about this connection. Uh, thinking about, you know, do I want this? Do I not want this? Something they're reconsidering. I don't know. We'll see. Let's clarify. All right. So let's clarify for Virgo. Why is within the next few weeks here? What do they want in the next few weeks with their person for Virgo spirit, please? Wow. So we have the magician here, but it did fall out in reverse. So I don't know. I don't feel comfortable taking it in reverse, just the way it flew out there. I don't usually do reversals unless it falls um, reversed. If I see it, you know, fall reversed, you know, I'll take it. But for some reason, I just don't like the way this card fell. So this is Libra, Ge this is um, bleh, <laughs> Gemini and Virgo. So that's the two energies of you and air. So this is wanting to manifest a brand new beginning. So you want to manifest a brand new beginning with this person within the next few weeks. Like you want things to pick up like either to the next level or just go on a date or whatever here. I think you want something uh, to manifest here. Okay. I was going to say, how is your person feeling? The Knight of Cups. So this is coming in, uh, taking the action coming in. This is water energy. doesn't have to be, but Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So this is coming in, taking that action with an offer of love or an apology, terms of infection, some sort of offer here, actually coming forward with an offer. So the reconsider may be, they may be considering, they may keep like playing over in their mind how they want to come forward to you. Um, like, I'm going to approach my person and say this, this, and that. Then they're like, no, no, no. And they're like constantly like, rethinking reconsidering how they want to approach you is what i'm getting with the reconsider i didn't get that a bad feeling when i got that reconsider i didn't get like you know the deciding whether or not they want this you know of course that's always an option but now what i'm getting is they're constantly going over in their head how do i approach this person they're constantly reconsidering everything that they've come up with every form of approach they've reconsidered and they have all this going through their head of how they want to approach you so you want this to manifest with them and they want to approach you so you're kind of in the same energy here and that's why we have you're ready because you're both ready to move forward so let's get some roses sticking energy here so we have the queen of pentacles and that's your energy virgo taurus capricorn so, yep, there's the offer in hand. You have the offer in hand. You are like, well, you know what? If they're not going to come forward, then I will. <laughs> it's like you're just ready for it already, you know? And this could be an engagement. It could just be, hey, offer of let's go on a date. You know, but the Queen of Pentacles, very stable, grounded, um, can make their own, own money, you know, very abundant, smart, nurturing, caring, giving sort of energy. And then they have uh, the Six of Pentacles here on their side also so this is equal reciprocity this is um equal exchange so and balance so they definitely want equal exchange with you it's like you're waiting for it and they want the equal exchange with you it's like you're both in that same energy like you're ready to manifest this you're ready for this and they're they keep deciding how they want to approach you they want it to be fair and balanced and they know you're somebody who's worthy with the Queen of Pentacles there. That you're worthy of the right kind of offer, the right kind of approach. All right, so let's get your actual situation for you, Virgo. 
Okay, we have the Seven of Cups. We have the King. Okay, we have a divine couple here now. We have the King of Queen of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles. So, Seven of Cups. It's a water energy again. Illusions, daydreamy kind of energy, confused options, decisions. Uh, that's connected to you. So, I'm feeling like you're you're a little confused also. So you have the same energy, same exact energy as them. It's like you want to manifest manifest this forward too, but you're a little confused about how to do that with the Seven of Cups energy. Kind of like that illusion, daydreamy kind of energy, like kind of just confused and weighing out all the options. And they're reconsidering all their options and what they want it to be fair and balanced. Because we have the two of pentacles connected to them. And that's your energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Again, trying to find that balanced, trying to find that right balance of approach to come towards you. It's like you both have your arms in the air like you're juggling. You see, you both have the same energy. Wow. Same exact energy coming out between the two of you. But connecting to it, to the two of you is the king of pentacles energy here. And there's the queen over there. So we have divine counterparts here, soulmate energy here with the king and queen of pentacles. Doesn't matter the signs, same suit, soulmate energy, doesn't matter if, what signs they are. So that's that strong, the um, sturdy, stable offer here. He's got it. It's right between the two of you is the offer here. So that's the actual situation is you're both trying to figure out how to offer to each other to move this forward. You're both exactly in the same energy. Wow. And Divine's trying to push you together to tell you, look, you both are ready to stop overthinking just to move forward towards each other. The High Priestess energy here. So Cancer Pisces doesn't have to be. So yeah, I feel like you're kind of holding back from one another. Not really saying much because you don't know how to approach each other on how to either you know ask one out for a date or you know if you're dating you want to be exclusive or whatever the situation of whatever one level up is for you if it's engagement if it's a date if it's you know dating exclusively whatever here um this is your energy well it's coming under your side your energy so of you know, not really saying much with the high priestess, like knowing, like knowing, okay, I, I know, I think this is my person, this is the one for me, but not really saying anything. And we have justice. So again, with the balance, with the scales, Libra energy here doesn't have to be. So a fair and balanced energy, and it's coming right under the six of pent pentacles. This is always the same energy for me. Minor six of Pentacles is the minor of the Libra card. And now we have the Libra card coming out under the Six of Pentacles. So, yeah, fair, balanced, you know, bringing in the right kind of fair, balanced offer. You see, she's blindfolded and she doesn't say anything over here. So it's like, wow. All right, so let's see your advice. Well, the Page of Pentacles, that's your energy. Virgo Taurus Capricorn, this is an offer. This is communication. This is a message. This is something grounded coming in. So you may have to be the one to actually make the first move here with the Page of Pentacles energy. What else for advice for Virgo? The six, nope, the seven, seven of wands energy here. So this is um, standing up for what you want. This is standing up, being proud, being courageous and brave, um, being determined. Can be uh, sometimes an energy of being on guard and like defensive, but I'm not getting that energy. Uh, I mean, you're really feeling this from your heart. It's like, you know, you just want to stand up for this and you want to speak from your heart and like just offer them this pentacle already. <laughs> so you may have to be the one to make the first move here in this uh, connection. Whatever that is for you, if it's just communicating, say, hey, how are you? You know, if you like each other, but you don't talk to each other, you know, you could know this person from 
work. You could know them from uh, just down the road, at the store. You know, they could be a neighbor. They could be anybody here. Wow. Okay. So, let's get some clarifiers for your advice. We have the King of Swords. We have the Ten of Cups. And we have Temperance. So, so King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, again, with that ear energy. And, you know, this is truth, clarity, speaking up, not taking any BS, standing up for yourself, um, clear-cut communication, cutting away things not serving. So, yep, that's like coming forward and just with communication with the King of Swords energy there. And the Ten of Cups here, so total joy, happiness, happy home and family, fulfillment, love, emotional fulfillment in every single way. And then we have, this is the extra one that fell out. We have temperance here, which is Sagittarius energy. Um, doesn't have to be though. So this is having patience. Um, this is faith, healing, balance, divine energy. Brings usually soulmates together. So I definitely feel like this is divine again coming through saying you are both ready for this connection here trying to bring the two cups together so you can have the ten of cups so let's see what your possible so i see you may be the one to have to offer something or just stop the lines of communication if you want to fight for this if you want to stand up for this then you may have to make the first move what is your possible outcome now we have the king of wands. So we have a lot of king energy here. We have all three kings. So we have don't have the fourth king, but we've got the king of swords, king of pentacles, the king of wands. So I don't get the feeling you're dealing with three people. Um, I'm just taking it as all energy, but this is uh, king of wands here. goes after what they want. A lot of fire, a drive, ambition they're courageous and brave they're go-getters so yeah go get this go get what you want here is what <laughs> what the message is really for the outcome i think you're just going to go for it the king of wands king or queen right, let's get some extra clarifiers so we have the four of pentacles energy here your energy virgo taurus capricorn energy of holding back holding on but holding back so you knowing there's a connection here and holding on to the connection, but yet holding back from this person. What else for your possible outcome? The Six of Cups, soulmate energy, and I had said that at the beginning when we got the king and queen for the first um, court cards. Here's the Six of Cups, soulmate energy, could have had past lives with this person, or maybe you know this person from childhood, uh, school, your first job, someone you've known for a very long time. If not, this is a soulmate maybe you've had past lives with. Soulmate energy here with the Six of Cups. You could even have children with this person. So your possible outcome is, I think you, even though you've been holding back, I think you're going to come to realize, you know, this is just my person, my soulmate, and you may just go after them with all of your drive, ambition, and passion and go go get this person and make the first move of course that's your advice also but i think you'll end up doing that if they don't make the first move i think you will so we have the wheel of fortune here sagittarius so divine timing and i do did feel this was divine energy with you already here is the divine energy divine timing fate destiny things going in the right direction things going in your favor all divine timing this is the right thing going in the right direction. The world, having a whole new cycle, closing out cycles, not serving you with this person or in your life or whatever. And this is starting a whole new world, a whole new chapter, a whole new cycle with this person. The star, so Aquarius energy here. And the world um, is Earth energy. And now the star, Aquarius, so faith, hope, optimism, wishes, dreams coming true, healing energy divinely guided energy divinely guided soulmates here i feel 
and the lovers. Oh my God, Gemini. <laughs> this is your soulmate. Twin flame possibly with the lovers here. Two people coming together, soulmate union. And now the sun. Oh my God, Virgo. Leo energy doesn't have to be. Total happiness and joy, enlightenment, healing energy, happy home and family, success and victory, children, everything positive with the sun energy here. And now you have success and victory with the six of wands. Wow. <laughs> Passionate victory and success moving forward. Happiness, joy, success. Soulmate lovers, healing, divinely guided, a whole new cycle, whole new world with this person, divinely guided energy, the wheel of fortune. Wow. Virgo. This is a divinely guided soulmate coming into you. So don't lose this connection because if nobody's making a move, somebody needs to make the first move and it may have to be you. Even if it's a small offer here with the page of pentacles is a small offer. But uh, even it's just like, hey, let's meet up for coffee or something or, you know, hey, you on Facebook or whatever, you know, and friending each other and, you know, something small moving forward. If you want this six of, uh, seven of wands there, going after it, standing up for it, going after it with all that drive, ambition, and passion. All right, so let's get some extra messages here for Virgo Love Connection for November. Let yourself receive. Allow others to give you loving care. Receive without guilt or apologies. So you both just need to let yourself receive each other already. <laughs> Just because you, you both are ready and just let yourself receive each other already is what I'm getting with that. All right, Virgo, what else? A new dawn. The worst is now behind you and positive new experiences are on the horizon with this person. A new dawn awaits for the two of you. Simplify your life. Eliminate clutter from your home and work and work life to balance the flow of activities. So I don't know, you may just need... need may need balance in your life somehow, um, cleaning things up, no longer serving you, person, pla people, places, things, can be anything, is there anything else for Virgo, ready, set, go, now's the perfect moment to dive in and embrace your heart's desire, yep, ready, set, go, because you're both ready to ready, set, go, <laughs> so we got ready there again, and we have ready over there, so definitely, Definitely ready here. Helpful person. Someone wants to help you. Think of whom that may be, who that might be, and initiate contact. So, yeah, I think you may have to be the one to initiate contact here. Or have a mutual friend or somebody set you guys up. Go on a double date. Go out with a group of friends. I don't know, something where you can be around this person or something like that. So, yep. Wow, Virgo. So I see a lot of good energy here. I see, you know, soul, possible soulmate to inflame, a divinely guided soulmate that you could have had past lives with, or somebody needs to make the first move. Okay, Virgo, if this resonated with you, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four readings a month. I do a love connection. I do one for singles, who's coming towards you, when, where, how. What kind of connection will it be? I do a um, general general reading, and I also do a messages from your spirit guides, what you need to know at this time. So if you're interested in all that, please do hit the bell, and then you'll be notified. You won't miss a reading. If you do, thank you so much. So best of luck to you, sending you many blessings, sending you many uh, light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, as with the sun energy, which we had, what, down here somewhere, is to always, always shine your light.